What's up gamers, Red Dragon here, and we are coming latest news on VGM. So last week there was some talk that Microsoft was going to be announcing some job cuts this week, and it was expected that they were going to be around 6,000 jobs that Microsoft was planning on cutting. Well, Microsoft finally made their plans available today, and they announced that they plan on cutting 18 thousand jobs so a lot more than what was previously thought uh, those job cuts are going to happen over the course of the next year so they say the majority of the jobs that are going uh, 12,500 of them are going to be from the Nokia division center so of course since this is a gaming channel everybody wants to know how this is going to affect the Xbox. Well, last week Satya Nadella sent out an email basically saying that the Xbox brand wasn't going anywhere. Steven Elope sent out an email of his own. Now, he's the boss of Microsoft's devices group, and he said there would be limited change for the Xbox hardware. He sent out an email, and one of the paragraphs said to uh, align with Microsoft's strategy. Uh, we're focusing on areas that add the most value. So they are focusing on phones, service, and they mention Xbox in order to build on that strength. He says, with a set of changes already implemented earlier this year in these teams, that means there will be limited change for the Surface, Xbox hardware, and PPI meeting teams. Now, since they mentioned that there would be limited change to Xbox, that does not mean that there won't be any change to Xbox. So as we move forward, you may see or hear more about these cuts coming, and some of them could be from the Xbox division. Uh, so going back to Sadia and what he was saying about these cuts and why they're happening, he says the goal of these cuts is to simplify the way Microsoft works, drive greater accountability, become more agile, and move faster. In addition, we plan to have fewer layers of management both top-down and sideways to accelerate the flow of information and decision making. The overall result of these changes will be more productive, impactful teams across Microsoft. He also mentions that it's important to note that while we are eliminating roles in some areas, they're actually adding roles in certain other strategic areas. So 18,000 people, that's a lot of people, and that sucks for anybody who lost their job. It sucks for anybody who ever loses their job. So, um, you know, our thoughts go out to those people. Uh, as far as if you want to know how many that is compared to Microsoft staff as a whole, as of June 2014, Microsoft had a global staff of 127,000 employees. So 18,000 sounds like a ton of people. Uh, whenever you look at the overall number, it's still a small percentage. But either way, that's 18,000 lives that are definitely affected. So our hearts do go out uh, to those people. The market's reacting positively to this news with Microsoft stock almost up close to 3% in early trading. If you want to read more about it, links down in the description box. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. Stay tuned right here to this channel and to VGN for your latest gaming news. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.